Hello, in this video I will show you the power of snapshots inside uh, VirtualBox Manager. This is the great tool for uh, beginners and uh, in general for creating a backup of your virtual machine. So in this video we will create init uh, snapshot, then we will break our virtual machine and then we will try to restore it to original state. So let's begin can open the snapshot menu by simply going to the machine, then to tools, then snapshot, or in the other way or, or by directly clicking on a virtual machine, then, then uh, these three dots here, and then snapshot here. The both ways open the same snapshot manager for uh, our selected virtual machine. And here we have a couple of options. We, can, we have the current state, we, so we can um, we can take the new snapshot, or we have the properties so that we see this uh, di uh, dialog uh, below with name and description. And uh, that's it for now. So let's create the init uh, snapshot. We can do that by simply clicking on take and creating the snapshot. We will uh, set snapshot name as init state and for description we will leave it as empty. And now you can see that we have init state and after that we have current. When we created our snapshot, we can uh, delete the snapshot, we can uh, restore to that snapshot. So for now we'll leave it as is, we'll just uh, power off our VM at current state. So select the current state and click start. And now we'll try to break our VM. Uh, I will use the command which is uh, very dangerous to use and please do not use this command. I'm doing this only as demonstration uh, because you will for sure break your system without any ways to restore it. This is, I think, a very popular command. Uh, command. So please never use this command. So basically, this is sudo remove um, rf. That means reclusive and force, and then just root directory. Uh, I was surprised that this command will not work inside inside Manjaro only you need to enter your password correctly but this command will not uh, will not work in manjaro because it recognized that this command is too dangerous and basically ask you to uh, add additional flag if you want to override this failsafe but if you just modify this command a little bit and instead of uh, writing sudo uh, rm-rf uh, root directory, we just add one star at the end, so like this, just star, this command will remove a lot of things that we need. As you can see, the border, is, the border of our uh, terminal window is different, we cannot, we cannot open our Firefox, we were losing our icons, so if I close this terminal, I will lose the terminal icon. If you click on start menu, for example, we don't have anything here. And so we really did something bad. So let's try to power off our machine. And you can see clearly here that we already have option to restore the current snapshot to in state. And this is a good option if you just want to try something and you don't want to uh, save save that change. But for this video, I will not uh, I will not select this option. I would like to show you how to uh, how can you restore this, let's say manually. So we will just power off our machine. And then. When we are powered off, 
we can clearly see that uh, current uh, uh, current state is changed. So right now we can click uh, on we can click on init state and restore. Now we have additional dialog box for the question. Okay, we are restoring uh, our current system to init state. But what about current state? Do you want to save that state on another snapshot or you don't want to do that? In this case, I don't want to do that because my current state is broken. So for that, uh, we need to unselect this create a snapshot of current machine state and click restore and that's it now we can just simply type uh, click on start and our vm is back to the default so i think this is a very good way to save your data if you're uh, new with linux or in general if you are doing some kind of development and you have your init system and you're starting development I would suggest to create some uh, snapshot so that you always can return to that point of time. And as you can see, we have all our files inside our root directory. So this is excellent. Nothing is missing. And that's it for this video.